Hey, this is a lot of people that I see that are city employees and we're proud of this, uh, this event today. And I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, you know, when we were running for office, we were doing a uh, ribbon cutting on the South Gaston station. And we were very impressed with it. And we've been trying, if y'all want to know how slow government goes, we've been planning this fire station since day one. Uh, so I had the vision to add a police precinct on the side of each fire station and try to make it more neighborhood community involvement. And we're still working through those details. And I want to thank the police department for being here. The fire department's here. And this is a big deal. Uh, this, this fire station is going to resemble a log cabin uh, facade on the front that'll go hand in hand with our uh, Nakalula Falls that's going on up here behind us, the campground, and the investment of what we're doing up here in this community. So I got to tell you a story, uh, Britt, some of y'all, I came by the fire station one day and Vance Brown had water leaking in a bucket. And I thought, what is he doing? Why is his bed over here? So I called Vance, I laid on his bed, and I took a picture and sent it to him. He wasn't working that day, so what are you doing in my bed? And I said, first of all, your bed's out of place. He said, the reason my bed's over there because the roof leaks on it. So if that's the day that we decided, hey, we need to do something. I talked to Chief Reed, and we, we prioritized the fire stations that need to be replaced. The next station will be replaced is the Country Club Club View area, and then the third one will be North Gaston. So I think this just shows you the commitment of what we feel as an administration and a council that we're trying to support our first responders, and this is important, and it's also important to the community. I want to thank Mike Rada, who's here today with Senator Tommy Tubbleville's office. Uh, thank you for coming today, Mike, and what you mean to us. And also our uh, architect, Tom, Thank you. Uh, many of y'all may not know Tom. Raise your hand. He's going to speak here in a minute. But Tom, Tom does a lot of things, and he could charge us a lot more. Uh, but Tom loves Gaston. He's from Gaston, and he's invested here. And Tom, and we want to thank you for everything you've done for the city of Gaston. I want to thank Heath Williamson. Uh, a lot of people don't realize what all Heath does. He puts up with me and puts up with us. But Heath, none of this would be possible without you, and I mean that sincerely. The other day, he said, I don't have to speak. I said, Heath, you ought to be the main speaker. Uh, so I mean that sincerely, and thank you for everything you're doing for Gaston, and we're lucky to have Heath. Chief Reed, thank you for your input and taking the, taking the time to support your fire department, as you should and as you always do. Uh, but if some of the things that we've taught behind doors and some of the things that he's needed, and we try to do our best within the budget to make the fire department's life a little easier. I want to thank our council people who's here today. Of course, Councilman Chris Robinson from District 7, Councilman Larry Avery, District 3. Is anybody else here, Chris? Okay. And our Chief of Police, uh, Lamar Jaggers, is here, and I see a lot of captains here and police officers, too, so thank y'all. Uh, from our staff, we got Tina King, Ruth Moffitt, Rod Scott, Brett Johnson, and John Moore, uh, and David Hooks with IDA and Kay Moore with DGI. So thank everybody for coming. Christina, thank you for everything you've done. Uh, for helping us put this together. So I'm going to turn it over now uh, to Chief Reed. Chief, you're up. And if you'll recognize the next one on the list, okay? Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Right there. Thank you. Okay, I'll be brief. I do have some people I want to thank. The mayor and the council, thank you for making this possible. But specifically, I want to thank the mayor for keeping a promise when he and I rode around to every fire station in the city. He said, show me your trouble spots. We went to one fire station. He said, is this the worst? I was like, no, sir, I will take you to the worst. So we brought him to the fire station on the mountain. As he said, he saw what was wrong and promised me that day that we were going to build three stations in addition to the station we had just built in uh, South Gadsden. And he's kept his promise. Within a year and a half, we have started the work on this station and hope soon to start work on fire station eight in South Gadsden, I mean, in the country club community. He has worked. There are more things that are going to be coming. I don't want to spoil the surprise of the things that's coming in the upcoming weeks, but the mayor has worked with us on several other projects. Uh, we're talking millions of dollars of projects to help the fire department and to help this community. So this fire station not only helps keep my firefighters safe, this enhances what we provide to the community up here. We can put more than one piece of equipment up here to protect this community. And I'm not going to stay up here and take all day and talk because I'm not a great order, but I just want to say how much I appreciate the mayor, the council, our firefighters look forward to working with the police department. First of all, let me let me just say I really appreciate Mayor, Council, Heath Williamson for just giving me the opportunity 
to be a part of, of these projects. Uh, it started, as the mayor said, with Banks Park. What has changed since then is we've added a police precinct. This will be the first station, I believe, that's got the police precinct. Uh, the designs for Station 8 and Station 6 are one is complete, one is well underway. Uh, so they are coming, as the mayor said and chief said, they're, they're coming up. For those of y'all that are familiar with Banks Park Station, this station added the police precinct. It's the same basic format as Banks Park, but we added the police precinct, which is roughly a 900 square foot addition to this. Uh, so the total building square footage for this building is 5,059 square feet. Uh, when Heath called and said, you know, we're going to do three more stations, so just go ahead and get the wheels turning on it. And he said, we just want to replicate Banks Park. Well, that's, these buildings are basically concrete block construction and light gauge metal stud trusses. And then the mayor said, hey, Tom, I need for you to make this look like a log cabin. And I, I kind of went into panic mode because I'm thinking, how am I going to make block look like, like a log cabin? It's going to be a, a true log siding that's on it. It's not going to be a full log, but it does, as the picture shows, uh, hopefully we'll replicate uh, a log cabin and be consistent with everything else up here at the falls. So uh, I'm excited about seeing this one get going. I'm, I'm just wrapping up two projects with, well, one with, with Frank Thomas from Boatner Construction and Linda Petty. And, Southside Fire Station and the Senior Wellness Center, they were on both of these, so obviously I'm excited to uh, to have them involved on this project. Uh, as I've told folks before, I feel like we've got the dream team working on this, so I'm, I'm excited to be working with them, continuing working with them. So uh, I hope everybody uh, ultimately will benefit from some of the unique things that this station is going to represent. It's going to just to kind of give you a quick overview, the, the end wall that will be visible from Nakalula is going to be essentially half glass for full height of, of the wall, be glass all the way across the end, but it'll have flat panel TVs with cameras that monitor the various locations around here. So anybody can drive up there and see what's going on at various times by simply looking at the uh, flat panel monitors as well as the uh, police officers that are in that precinct, they can see what's going on as well. So. We've got some unique things. The, the mayor had a great vision on what to what to do with this. So, again, I'm excited to be a part of it. I just thank you for the opportunity. All right, I'll intend to be briefest of all, as I don't like to stand in front of folks. But, uh, Mayor, sincerely appreciate the opportunity to work on projects like this. Uh, it's fun anytime we can improve our facilities, so we do appreciate that. My main team, some of my main guys are here. Keener, that uh, deals with me through the through the design. We appreciate you, man. And, uh, of course, Josh, that chases construction all over the city for us, literally every part of every day. I want to thank Boatner again. Uh, for taking an interest in the job. You have to go through that wonderful competitive bid process and we appreciate that. Uh, it was mentioned they're just finishing or have finished the Senior Wellness Center. It turned out great, uh, which we'll have that uh, ceremony here in the next couple of days. So looking forward to getting this one started. And of course, Tom, I can't say enough. I've gone through project after project with Tom and there's a reason I call him. He cares about what he does. He's in the details and uh, it's just a good team environment with all the folks he brings on. So sincerely, uh, on behalf of Gazden, uh, we appreciate the opportunity to work on this and uh, we'll, we'll be happy to, on behalf of the, the city part, the engineering side will manage this through construction. So we'll keep our hand on everything. Not super excited about the amount of rock we're gonna deal with there, but we'll get through it and uh, make the best of it. And we're looking forward to the, seeing the end result there come to life, so we appreciate it. Hey everybody, I'm Brett Johnson with the Mayor's Office. Um, just wanted to uh, thank everybody who's, who spoke already. Thank you especially to the, the men and women potentially who are going to be stationed here at Station 5. Uh, one thing that is unique about this construction project is Mayor Ford and the Council wanted to make sure that the Falls area and the mountain communities didn't go without fire and rescue services for 12 months during construction. So we reached out to Mayor Ford's former chief of staff who runs a manufactured housing association and they were able to work out a, a deal where basically we're going to have our modular home up there 
um, across the street from the Qantas Pavilion where the firemen can sleep and shower. And then we've got our garage building where the uh, engines will be housed. And so 24 seven coverage will stay up here on the falls area during construction. So not really missing a beat. And as you know, with Barbarian Challenge and everything else, that's important to have those services here. So next thing I wanted to do is ask Mayor Ford to come back up if you have any more closing remarks and then we'll uh, have some photos with Mayor and Council. Okay, I was just sitting here thinking and I, I was talking to Chief Ree. Uh, you know, I want to thank, thank Tom again because I change a lot of things midstream, which is not good, right? He, uh, but I see something and I'll change it. But one thing is, if you can picture this place, how, many, how long will it take? Two months, Tom, to build this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so just picture, picture this. No, 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 no. But let's say January. Let's say we see this fire station. You see this campground. You see the train shed that's already built. You see the, the petting barn or the, what do we call it, Christine, petting zoo? The who? The zoo. That's right. With the sloths. Uh, if you see the zoo over there and you see, I see the train going by right now. Think of the tourism dollars that's going to continue to be flooded into this area. This is fantastic. And the coverage that this fire station covers is phenomenal. It goes down the mountain into District 3-2. Uh, so it's, just, it's going to be a brand new station. Not only that, but for the firemen and the policemen. Uh, that's important. But one thing, if you'll look at that picture, uh, I was talking to Chief and I, Heath and I came up with this. Who, everybody that grows up wants to be a fireman and policeman. If you didn't, something's wrong with you. But you think of a fire department with red doors. So I said, let's change those doors to red, the roll-up doors. We want red doors. So I think that's going to pop when you drive through here and it's going to look good. And every fire station is going to have those doors. Uh, so we're excited about that. But just the visual of seeing that gets you excited. We want to thank the previous administration. Uh, this isn't a project of theirs, but this wouldn't be possible if they didn't leave us in a good physical condition to be able to implement these changes and implement these projects in your area because they left us in a good financial position. Uh, so I want to thank everybody. I want everybody to loosen up. I want everybody to smile and have fun. This is a big day. This isn't serious. Uh, so we're excited about this. I see Commissioner Tim Ramsey. Uh, thank you for coming, our president. But this is, this is a big day for Gaston, y'all. I mean, you think about the things over the last 10 or 15 years, how many projects are being built, and we're cutting ribbons left and right, we're breaking ground left and right, and it never gets old. Uh, so this is what we want to do. So at this time, we're going to end, and uh, we're going to ask the council and the uh, fire department, police department, chiefs, come on up here and let's break some ground, okay? Heath and Tom, let's go.